All right. Hi, Elias. How hey. are you? Good to see you, Sean. Good Thank to see you. you. So, you're from Interage Yearbooks. Yep. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about what Interage Yearbooks does. And sure. I'd be happy to. So, uh, my name is Elias Joe. I'm the CEO of Entourage Yearbooks. A, uh, so, Entourage is what we're calling uh, next generation yearbook company. And what we specialize is basically taking an industry uh, that's been around in America for over 100 years yeah. and putting a modern spin on it. Gotcha. What we're really trying to do is, is bring the latest in technology, the latest in design techniques, the latest in uh, publication technology to give schools and uh, students an experience where they can create a yearbook using social media, using online technology, gotcha. uh, using digital photography and uh, graphic design. Uh, print that into a bound book that they can then share with all the students in their school. So you're basically taking something that's an old thing and bringing it into a more modern, new, fresh yeah, style. Yeah, that's, that's, that's basically what our mission is. Is What we're trying to do is, is take something that uh, where we're not, we're not, tr we're trying to help teachers and students who don't want to make a yearbook like their parents had, but they want to make a yearbook that kind of takes into account for today. modern yeah, design and exactly. modern techniques. Yeah. So what's the what's the name of the main tool that you guys use? Uh, your whole system, it's uh, Ed Online, right? So the the main system that our schools use is a, uh, a software called Ed Online, yep. uh, which is an online design software that allows you to create uh, your yearbook pages right from a school browser. Um, I, I liken it to kind of an InDesign type of experience yeah. in terms of graphic design where you can uh, do all your graphic design in one central location, but it's got a lot of features that are very specific to yearbook design. Okay, good. Okay. What are some of those features that are very specific? So things that are very specific to yearbook design are things like uh, student flow. So a lot of times when you have a thousand kids in a school, you don't want to lay out each student. Yeah, of course. Page. Yeah. So you want your pages to be database driven in terms of what kids are on what page and how they're alphabetized. And if a, skit, school, uh, a child moves to another school, can we take them out gotcha. easily? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we do indexing. We tag photos like you would do in Facebook so yeah. that at the end of the book, you could say, hey, what are all the pages mm -hmm. that uh, that I'm in? So those are some of the features gotcha. that are very yearbook specific. And there's like an educational twist to it as well, right? Absolutely. So uh, yearbooks is probably a class in about 60% of high schools in America. Um, it satisfies core curriculum requirements in graphic design, digital photography, journalism. Uh, so this is something that kids are using not yeah. only to make a great yearbook, but they're putting it on their resumes to get into college. Gotcha, yeah. And they're also uh, using it to satisfy their academic requirements right. to graduate. And that's what's really cool because I mean, you actually you get help the teachers in that process as well, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So one of the things that we've learned is we kind of grew from being very focused on the technology and the printing and now we're really trying to help teachers also be next generation teachers as well where we bring them the teaching material and the Very presentation cool. material and all of that. Very cool. So, so uh, we brought you here because behind that technology you also use... Uh, we also use Chili Publish. Chili, Chili, Chili yes, Publish, absolutely. yeah exactly. So actually let's take a look at the yearbook designer and yep. take a look at the page design and see what we got there. Be happy to show you. Um, so for us is we wanted to create a all-inclusive experience yeah. uh, where students can go and upload their photos, upload their content, upload a letter from the principal, take their pictures of their sports team and everything like that, and then actually do the graphic design all in one place. Gotcha. And so we we were we are soft we have software development yes. uh, skills inside of our company, but we're really looking for a technology partner to to really help us create that canvas yeah. that you can then go and design stuff off of. And, uh, where truly really shine for us is, is how extensible it has been and how we can customize it specifically to a yearbook uh, Yeah, I mean, take a look at this interface. It's, uh, earlier we showed a demo of Chili using yep. our basic interface, and this interface is extremely customized towards yep. uh, the, your target audience, which is you know kids and parents. That's right. So what we tried to do is, is um, we have a very wide set of skills from very beginner to very advanced yeah. in terms of what they want to achieve. And, th and this is a page I made with my wife and my daughter. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it might not be the most advanced, but it's got some cool features on here. Um, but what we did here is, is we tried to keep the interface as simple as possible. We took out a lot of the features that we thought were kind of two or three clicks away and tried to yeah. make them one click away. Um, we brought in our own kind of digital asset management system so that when you right. uh, up import photos, and for us, you can import photos from Facebook and from Google Drive gotcha. and from Instagram. So they can all show up here and then you can then go and just drag them right onto the page. 
and drop them on there. So That's those so cool. are the experiences that we try to give to the students so that it's as simple yeah. as possible. And so this is, you're taking Chili, you're integrating it into your system, and um, you provide all these functionalities, like you said, social media connections and that kind of stuff. So the students who are really into online stuff now these days, That's right can just connect up and send those pictures right yeah. in. Yeah, so in an ideal world, what you're doing is uh, maybe your school has a Facebook page for some sports events. You can go and import those photos. If any kids had captioned those photos or mentioned it, you can import that data yeah. as well, and then that could, stuff can be imported into your book. So those are some of the features that are really exciting, and that's kind of more yeah. kind of social media oriented and mixed yeah. multimedia oriented that we try to bring into the book. Now that's building on the Chili. What, what are some features of Chili that you specifically liked? Oh, uh, so the big things I really love about Chili, number one is, is the HTML5 designer. Yeah. So they did a really, you guys did a really wonderful job of converting from Flash to HTML5. Okay, just in case people don't know, we had a Flash designer right. and then we moved to HTML because Flash is actually going to be uh, retired the right. next year. So. That's right. And we've been on the HTML5 designer for about two years, maybe about two and a half years. Uh, it's a fast designer, very extensible, allows us to basically customize the experience. Uh, so we've added a lot of features right. so that yeah, are like very specific to That us. whole drag and the thing there. Yeah. Now what's, uh, you also added this like this quick menu here. Yeah, this has been very popular. Uh, like I said before, is what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, reduce the number of clicks to right. get to the features that people want to do. So we, we're using a concept called the quick menu, which we're kind of borrowing off of the Adobe products as yeah. well in terms of these kind of dock menus. Uh, so that the most kind of popular things that you need to do, like cropping the photo and everything like that, right. is just one click away. Exactly. So basically what you did is you took a feature that was in Chili and you're basically using it in an interface that you created. That's right. That's more spe specific towards your target audience, that's right. which is students. And what I really love is, is uh, even though there's lots of companies that use Chili, we've created a Chili experience that's specific to our users. Yeah, it's very and so uh, nobody's going to feel like uh, they're, you know, yeah. every and, Chili experience. And is honestly, different. I mean, if you, if you didn't, if you didn't say this was Chili, you probably wouldn't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It looks really smooth and nice. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about some of the other features. There was a, if you click, you show me like there was like a menu feature. Yeah, absolutely. So inside yeah. of here, what we've done is um, uh, we've we put all your standard type of inserts. So. Right. Um, so yeah, er, er, earlier we talked about we have like you know frames and all that stuff. And what you did was you created a, basically a, a custom UI interface to insert those right. those frame types. So for us, is, is, uh, in the Chili world, you guys have this concept of snippets and inserting yes. snippets. In the yearbook world, they don't call them snippets, they call them templates. Okay. But we're basically reusing the insert snippet technology to create a template experience where schools can come in, see other templates that have worked well, um, and then insert them on the pages so they don't have to start from a, a, yeah. from a blank page. Gotcha, so, yeah, because I mean, a lot of times these aren't professional designers, they're you know, just kids. That's right. So over here, we'll see we have some retro type of designs. And what's nice about these kind of things is, is you can actually click on them and see how other people have used these designs in other books. Oh, so cool. those are some of the things that we do. We also inserted uh, something that uh, Chili does that I think is a lot better than a lot of other designers, is you guys have a QR code generator. Yeah. So we can actually, and this goes to that kind of mixed media experience that we're trying to bring to the schools. I think Chili, you guys are really well aligned with us on that. So you can go and you can create a QR code, which you can then insert onto the page, um, which then allows you to scan it with your phone and then gotcha. not only look at the yearbook, but you can also actually see a video from the event of that page. I have some good news for you. Uh, I just talked about it in the last demo and our new text engine, I'm sorry, our new uh, barcode engine, we actually do the barcodes, we create them as vector. Oh, beautiful. So it's instant. Yeah. I, I, yeah, so in the new version of Chile, you guys are gonna even have faster barcode yeah. creation. Should be great. So that, that that's an example of another insert. And then, you know, things like you guys have, like inserting on the dam, we have a clip art. And uh, these yeah. are assets that are in the database that you can just kind of go right. in. And, and say, this is you connecting right. to your own image database. Right. So we have our own image database where we probably have about 40 or 50 million photographs. Yeah. Um, and that way you can access those and put them in and use them for different things. And again, yearbooks are very yearbook specific. So <laughs> yeah, of course, this yeah. This year is 2020. So, so you've it's got all 2020 all stuff. 2020 graphics. Design. Yeah, you probably have a whole bunch that you don't even use, like uh, 2018, 2017. 2018. Yeah, all those have to be put <laughs> away. So. That's funny. 
Um, so, and then we, I see up here you, you added some uh, shortcuts for basic things like uh, copying yeah. and undo, redo, and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So what we're trying to do is, is kind of create a simplified experience that has analogies to kind of PowerPoint and InDesign yeah. and those type of things so that people who are familiar with those technologies have an easier time of adopting this. So you've got the copy, paste, undo, redo. You can go and uh, change the fill color. Uh, on these items. Yeah. Uh, and it's all, it's all custom by you guys and it's integrating with Chili. Well, I mean, the, the activating and deactivating is all custom, but it's it's all Chili underneath. Underneath, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think the question that everyone always asks when they see your website and they see your, your, your uh, ad online and the, how it works is, how does this work with multiple pages, right? Yeah. So for example, a lot of times um, if I, if we, click like next page or page two. I mean, how is this all, how are you dealing? Because your books are not just one page, they're like 100 pages. That's right. So that, that was something that Chile really gave us as kind of architectural freedom on how to handle that. Uh, yearbooks, I mean, my largest yearbooks are four or 500 pages. Yeah, and that's, that's so, quite big. Uh, you wouldn't want to have one document that was four Yeah, because it would load long. all the images. It would take a long time to load <laughs> and who knows what would happen in the browser. So what we've done is this, we've split up the concept of a book into different spreads. And so uh, every page loads at about the same speed. So as I go to the next page, this is actually a new Chile document. Right. Uh, so that gives me kind of infinite extensibility. If I have a thousand pages, each page will load just as fast as if I had two pages. So that's yeah. the way and you actually, that. you keep the editor open in the background, that's right? right? So you're not reloading the editor, you're just basically loading a new page that's right. into the document. Oh, that's cool. So, so that, then we're just, we are just keeping the same editor, going to the next page, keeps experience nice yeah. and fast. And then when you output the PDF, I'm guessing you output each document and then combine it all together later on? That's right. So we use Ch Chili's PDF engine on the back end to go and uh, generate the PDFs from this, which mm -hmm. has been a, a huge help for us because yeah. obviously getting that uh, PDF perfect is yeah, exactly. critical. Um, and then we, we on our side have built a process where we compile the pages into one large PDF. Process. That's cool. Um, so one of the things that's quite interesting is how do you guys handle, because uh, I mean obviously a yearbook would have a lot of um, students and might be all like, you know, you could have like 100, 200, 300 students. How do you guys handle that when it comes to working with Chile and, you know, if I want to add a student, take a student or that kind of stuff? So one of the things that we are able to do is, is we built a database system that basically allows you to upload a roster of students um, and uh, manage that. Um, and what you want to do in a yearbook in order to really kind of maximize uh, the speed at which you can build a bait is to uh, do database design for those okay. student pages. So, oh, so basically you would create like maybe one or two types of pages that you would use and then just fill in the, the images later? That's right. With the database? That's right. So gotcha. here you'll see I've got a student database with some photos and they'll have different, um, uh, different teachers, different classes and all gotcha. of that. And you provide this for the school, so they can easily go ahead and like manage it by classroom That's and all right. that stuff? So if you've got a school, I've got schools with up to 3,000 students, and to go and lay out 3,000 students would take weeks of work, Exactly. and they can do it in less than an hour uh, with the roster file, and uh, usually they have a student photographer who yeah. has to take an ID photo. That's so really this cool. is an example of the templates that they would use, gotcha. and they can select whatever they want. And then the last step of this would be to flow it, which then allows them to go and pick a, a, a uh, a teacher that they can then flow onto the page. And so if they wanted to, they can click on like these different groups and then say, I want these kids to show up on this page. And that's basically what you're seeing here is, is this is a flowed group of students here. That's very cool. So, I mean, you basically provide all the tools to make it super easy that's right. for schools to be able to create a yearbook. You know, they're using Chile to actually design the pages and stuff, um, but then you provide the templating, you provide the uh, a database system that they can plug into and it's just simple. The big thing for us and what we're really trying to push to do is we want to uh, automate and to streamline the things that are tedious yeah. so they can spend as much time as possible on the things that on are those fun. creative pages, yeah. That's right. So laying out 2,000 kids is very tedious but flowing them using a database driven system is very fast 
and then they can focus more on what's the theme of the book, what's the journalistic message that we're trying to share, yeah. what are the things that happen to these kids that's different than every other, all the other students that went to the school. And so focus, allowing them to focus more on that is really what the Entourage experience is about. Very cool. And so what's some of the, I mean, some, just for fun, what's some of the creative things that, uh, that's kind of popular right now that people do with yearbooks? And Well, there's, a, there's always a battle between yearbook advisors and students about selfies. <laughs> selfies, yeah. Yes. So yeah. selfies is a huge part of uh, today's yearbook, I mean, today's youth. Culture, yeah. Yeah, social media where everybody's taking selfies and everybody wants selfies in the book. Journalistically, they're not the most wonderful thing, and plus, on top of that, it kind of doesn't really speak to kind of the inclusiveness yeah, 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 yeah. Of, of yearbooks. But you always see selfie pages. You also see memes. Oh so, yeah, that's popular. Um, you'll see a lot of uh, students who recreate the popular memes that are going on and put those in the book. So less so the superlatives. And I'll see more. From, so it's kind of a transition of superlatives to, to memes, where <laughs> instead of you say, uh, you know, who's going to be the most popular, you might have like the Hate Mondays meme or something oh, like that. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I guess memes have finally taken over the world. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's a huge thing in the, in the yearbook industry today. So um, Entourage Yearbooks provides a solution to schools. Um, how, like how many schools do you guys roughly? But currently we're serving about 5,000 schools oh, wow. across all 50 states and about 16 countries. Um, not all of them use the Ed Online system, but I would say most of them okay. do. Uh, some people want to use a more traditional graphic design software. Oh, but, gotcha. Yeah, they upload the end result. Yeah, they you. upload the PDFs at the end. But the reason why this software is so great and what Chile is so great is, is, is that if they do want to use some other PDF software, we actually allow them to put the PDFs into the document. Yeah. So you can have people who are designing some pages using it online and some pages using InDesign. Oh, gotcha, they can do a little bit of both. Or Photoshop or yeah. something like that. So this page might be it online, this page might be InDesign. Yeah. Uh, so that's been a huge feature for, for our schools. Awesome, awesome. So uh, we're gonna wrap things up here. Yeah. Um, it was nice having you here. Yeah, and it's been a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know you guys did a really great job with Chile. I mean, it looks really beautiful. Um, you did a great job with the whole UI design and really integrating Chile because that's where Chile comes into is its integration tool and integrates into technologies like yours, um, which then you provide a solution to other people. So we're providing a solution for you and you're providing a solution for your books. That's it's, right. It's really cool. Um, if people want to get a hold of you for, uh, you know, if they're interested in yearbooks and they do type of uh, yearbook printing, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Yeah, the best way for us is, is you can always go to our website at www.entourageyearbooks.com. You can always call us at 888-926-6571. And uh, we're, we're, we're available six days a week and we serve all the time zones in the U.S. All right. Well, Elias, it was nice seeing you again. It's been a pleasure. Um, thank you for sitting down and talking with me. And hopefully we can keep growing as Chile grows. Great. Thank you very much. All right. Yep.